guys welcome back to my channel thank you for watching so today's video is going to be my June favourites and I know I'm really late with this video it's like the 3rd of July already I can't believe it's taking me so long it literally feels like it was only a couple of days ago that I just did my May favourites I just can't believe how quickly this month has gone but I have used a lot of products <laughs> so there are definitely going to be quite a few things on here a lot of the things that you're going to see are obviously stuff that I've just repurchased or that are a new purchase that I've just recently got so I'm loving all different kinds no all different types of things at the minute <laughs> um, so I'm going to jump straight into it the first thing that I am loving oh my god loving so much is the boudoir is that how you pronounce it palette by Too Faced this palette is absolutely amazing. I can't put this palette down. I keep using it non-stop. The colours in here are absolutely beautiful. I mix them with other palettes um, and different shades and things and just create so many different looks. But I absolutely adore this palette. So this is what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got nine shadows in there and you can create so many different looks. It also comes with um, some cards that show you different things that you can do, so examples of looks if you wanted to do them. This palette is absolutely amazing. I think this was the first Too Faced eyeshadow palette that I purchased out of the ones that I've got and it is definitely the one that I love the most. I absolutely love this and I always reach for it. So another eyeshadow products that i am loving at the minute so you all know recently i received my first order of my makeup geek eyeshadows now i only ordered seven of them six of the ordinary and one of the foiled i am adoring them they are absolutely amazing and they are these six eyeshadows seven sorry along the bottom this eyeshadow here which is called shimmer shimmer i love this eyeshadow to highlight my inner tear duct the um the arch of my eyebrow cupid's bow i've actually used it on the tops of my cheeks i've used it so so much i absolutely love it um the shade this shade here which is cinderella this is another favorite shade of mine i do put this in the center of my eyelid and then i will blend it in whatever colors are on there i absolutely love and then this one is the foiled eyeshadow that i got and i'm so annoyed that i only picked up one this is Grandstand. This shadow is amazing. Oh my god, it is so freaking good. I cannot believe it. I am so shocked at just the pigmentation from it. It was not what I expected. Um, obviously being in the UK, sorry the wind is really blowing. <laughs> obviously being in the UK, um, we do have to order these eyeshadows um, obviously from Makeup Geek and have them shipped over here but their shipping rate is like I think they do one for $8.99 it is so so good considering the eyeshadows themselves the ordinary ones are like $5.99 and then the foiled eyeshadows are $9.99 I think so I absolutely love them they're a steal really they're so cheap and then $8.99 for shipping it is so worth it just to get these shadows I do really need to order some more of them. Um, I actually did speak to one of the customer service advisors um, from Makeup Geek just to see if they ever did any promotional codes or discount codes or anything like that. I think just as I had emailed, I'd missed the three shipping one and they did say that they don't really work with um, discount codes that often but I have said to them if you do get any I'd really appreciate it if they send any over so definitely if they send me any I will post them on um, so you guys can use them as well and obviously if you guys have got any promotional codes for them then send me a message <laughs> so yeah they are another eyeshadows I absolutely love them um, another thing that I'm loving is obviously my Too Faced Little Black Book. I am on a Too Faced binge at the minute, honestly. I just feel like I've got so many products by Too Faced, but I just love everything. So this is their Little Black Book, and then it has the eight samples of their bronzers in them. The one that I keep using, I'm sorry, all I can smell is chocolate. Every time I open it, it's like chocolate. So the one that I've been using the most is Sun Bunny, which is this one here. It is absolutely beautiful. I love them. I love them all actually. I have tried every single one of them in here and I love them. And the fact that they just smell like chocolate, it's very mouth watering when you open them. <laughs> so yeah, that is another favourite of mine this month. Um, sticking with Too Faced, another favourite is the Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. And I've got mine in Peach Beach. This is such a beautiful colour. Um, you can definitely build this up as well. I tend to use a really light hand with it and just 
it is what I've got on my cheeks today it is so so pretty the colours in here so it's got like three different colours swirl your brush in it and apply it on oh beautiful beautiful <laughs> Too Faced do such a good job. Their packaging is so cute as well, but the products are absolutely amazing. How have I lived without these products in my life, honestly? <laughs> um, what am I going to talk about next? Oh my god, I've got so many things here, honestly. So, as you know, my favourite mascara, um, it was in my last month's favourites, and it's in this favourites. It is the Benefit Roller Lash. I adore this mascara. It is amazing. I, I literally have not picked my MAC mascara up since I've tried this um, and I've not been using anything else. I've literally been using this all the time. It's so nice. I do find that it, it makes my lashes look longer and it makes them look fuller, which is what I like. It is a bit of a pain like twirling the brush when you're doing it, but once you've got the hang of it, it's just so easy to do it. So that had to be in my monthly favourites because I adore it. Two other products. That, sorry, I feel like I'm speeding through this video. Um, I've got that many things. I just feel like I need to hurry up so it's not um, an hour long video. <laughs> Two other things I am loving, again, these were in my last month's favourites, are the Urban Decay B6 Complexion Spray and the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. These are an everyday part of my routine. I have to use these every time I put makeup on. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll use the B6 spray just to spritz it on. It's definitely a cooling down spray. It takes away takes away the redness in your face, uh, minimises pores as well. I just find that this spray is absolutely amazing. I still use my Max Fix Plus. I do like that one, but this B6 is definitely becoming my favourite. I absolutely love it. And then, as always, makeups are. I have to set it with something, and I always grab my all night and makeup setting spray. These are absolutely beautiful. So sticking with Urban Decay. Um, two lip products by them again these were recently bought I think I hauled them a couple of weeks ago and the um, lip liner I, both these products I am wearing today actually I've got three lip products that I'm going to talk about and I've got all three of them on my lips so the lip liner that I am wearing is called Turn On by Urban Decay I don't know if you can see that if I turn it that way you can see the colour a bit better this lip liner is so so pretty they apply so nice and then oh it's gorgeous and then the lipstick that i am wearing is anarchy um this is a beautiful lipstick i think i posted a picture of myself wearing this on my instagram and i got so many likes on it people were saying that it was a really nice color that it looked really pretty on and it is such a beautiful color it is so nice so it is what i am wearing today I love um, Urban Decay lipsticks and lip liners, I think they're so nice. And then just for a bit more shimmer, I am wearing the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. This is so, so pretty. This is the only NYX Butter Gloss, Butter Gloss that I own. Um, I actually purchased this off the Makeup Geek website, which another thing is so good about them. Not only do they do their own products, but then they have NYX products on there. And I think sugar pill I think it might be called I'm not 100% sure but I know they definitely have some others um and I wanted to give this uh, butter gloss a try I absolutely love it it's amazing I really want to get some more of them so I'm so happy with this it's really nice it goes on really smooth and it stays as well so good job with them I like them <coughs> um okay another thing that I'm absolutely loving is my Anastasia Beverly Hills and that's my Brow Wiz Skinny Pencil. I have mine in soft brown and I'm also loving their clear, their, no her, <laughs> clear brow gel. Um, I only have a little mini one, it's what I picked up in New York from Sephora and this is amazing. This stuff is like glue. My eyebrows do not go anywhere when I'm wearing this. I absolutely love this stuff, it's amazing. So these are definitely um, two of my favourite products that I'm using every single day. Another favourite product of mine is actually something that I bought ages ago. And it's just typical really that you would buy something, use it, put it away and then totally forget about it. And this is actually the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I just recently, my sister come um, last week and I did her makeup and I suddenly spotted this and I thought, oh, I'll put that highlighter on. Oh my god, I forgot about how amazing this highlighter is. So this highlighter is so, so pretty. 
and it's just a, it's got a really subtle gold undertone in it and it just shimmers so nice especially if you have a tan as well so definitely in the summer months this is such a beautiful highlighter um i'm definitely going to start wearing this more often i can't believe that i forgot about it so an oldie but a goodie <laughs> Going on to face creams now, two of the products I'm actually loving are, now you all know Benefit Total Moisturising Facial Cream for me is my absolute favourite. Um, recently whilst I was there they gave me a sample of their triple performing facial emulsion, is that how you pronounce it? And for a sample, this is so big this bottle, bottle, not bottle. Um, it's such a good good size for a sample and this stuff is absolutely amazing I find this isn't as thick as my total moisturizing cream so I tend to use that one at night time but definitely in a day when I've just had a shower before I go to put my makeup on I'll just put a bit of this on my face and it's so so nice so you know me samples I like to use up first and then I'll go and repurchase one of the things I actually did go and purchase after trying a little tiny sample was the Benefit Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffiness. So this is um, an eye cream and it's supposed to reduce the puffiness, dark circles. Um, I was a little bit unsure when I tried it but I really liked it. Um, it's quite expensive though, it's like, I think it was like £22 how much do you get in this and it's a 10 ml bottle so it's a little bottle like this and then it has what looks like <laughs> it's an iron and you the lady in the shop was said to me that you like get a little bit out and then you just smooth it on and technically iron it in so i have used it a few times it does reduce the puffiness in my eyes it doesn't necessarily take away the darkness but it definitely takes down the puffiness a little bit so it's still one of my favourites, I've been using it every single day and I do love that my eyes don't look so puffy after I've used it, so that is that. Another thing that I've been loving at the minute is from Lush and that is their Honey Trap Lip Balm. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous, I mean, I just want to eat it, it's, oh, I think it's got, what's it got in it? Um, white chocolate balm for vanilla honey kisses and it is just a little tiny tub of lip balm but this is so so nice i have a tendency before um, i do my makeup i always like to put a lip balm on just to give my lips some hydration and get them ready obviously for lipstick so the first thing that i will do when i'm doing all my face creams is i will put some of this on and i will leave it on till right till the end and then once i'm about to put my lipstick on i'll wipe it off and put my lipstick on and i have found that my lips have been a lot softer so i absolutely love this the next thing that I'm going to talk about now is um, face brushes or in this case there's a few eye brushes and then um, the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So this one's mine obviously because it's dirty and I have bought a backup of it. This thing is absolutely amazing. The Beauty Blenders I think they're something like £17. I'm not 100% sure but I'm sure they're about £17. These are like £5.99 and I got these in the sale actually and I only paid £3.49 for them. So it's the same rule that applies, obviously you wet it underwater and it does get bigger. The thing that I like about this, obviously I've just used this this morning, is it has obviously this cut off here which makes it so nice to even out your foundation and I love this. And then obviously you've got your pointy end for your concealer and blending things out. I think this thing is amazing. The only thing I will say about this, between this and the actual beauty blender, this retains more water. So obviously you squeeze it out once you've finished under the tap. But I do find that obviously my beauty blender I can squeeze it and nothing else is coming out of it. But with this I actually do find that it does retain some water no matter how much I do squeeze it. So it does make me quite worried obviously with liquid foundation when I'm applying it. Obviously it's going to retain it in here. But I, I think that's like a little minor thing. I don't think it's a huge problem. problem. <laughs> Considering these are only £5.99 and if you can pick them up in a sale for £3.49 or whatever it was that I paid for them these are absolutely amazing so i absolutely love these sponges other brushes by them the first brush that i got was the um real techniques blush brush and this brush is so pretty it's so soft now when i first took it out of the packaging it wasn't too soft so obviously i gave obviously give your brushes a wash first so but once i'd done that and it left it to dry and everything it's so nice now um, again this brush retails for about 9 99 and I think I paid 5 97 for it in the sale 
So once I tried this and realised how much I actually love this brush, I decided to go and get a few more of them. So I did pick up um, the Real Techniques um, face brush. So this is obviously like a buffering brush for your face. It is a little bit smaller than what I would have liked. I like a, a larger brush that covers, covers more area in a short space of time. So I'm going to give this one a try. I do need to wash them first before I try them. So I did pick this one up. And then the next one that I picked up was the mini um, setting brush. And this one is so, so cute. I actually like the look of this one for doing a little bit of contouring. Obviously, I probably would use it for setting underneath my eyes. Again, I didn't pay full price for this. I did get this in the discount. So um, I thought that was really good. And then the last set that I actually picked up. Now, these sets retail for $21.99. And I paid 12 12 49 I want to say it was less than 13 pound and this is the Real Techniques eyes starter set so it comes with five brushes in here and I just thought normally I probably wouldn't have paid that much money for this kind of brushes um not that like I'm skingy or anything it's just I kind of I see loads of brushes on the internet and there's so many that I want to try um I wouldn't necessarily have thought of real techniques and I definitely wouldn't have gone and paid 21 or 22 pound for the set um especially when the these two brushes here I probably wouldn't use the um fine liner brush and the brow brush just because I have my favorites already so I definitely wouldn't have paid 22 pound just for these three brushes but the fact that it was less than 13 pound you just really couldn't pass it up so I'm really excited to give these a try so I'm going to give them a good wash and then give them a go but I thought for the prices of them I just had to bring them in on a monthly favourites so anybody that can get to TJ Hughes I think I picked these up from um, and you're really interested in going trying these I would definitely go down there and pick some of these up now while they're in the sale so Oh my god, I feel like I just speeded through that. <laughs> it was so quick. Um, but we made it through. That's the end of this one, thank god. I am actually going to record another video straight after this. And this is about my giveaway that I'm doing. I'm finally going to do it. I think I've been talking about it so much. And especially over my Instagram. So um, pop over to my Instagram and follow me over there so you can keep up to date. If you will, I'll add the name somewhere. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And until my next one, I will see you all soon. Bye guys.